all, I thought I would document the process of writing a song from the very beginning. There is a new tune that I've started, and uh, I thought it would be useful to document it, all of the stages going through the various parts of the song from the very beginning, showing where some of the ideas come from, and then how they uh, build up and how they can be added together, how you have uh, verses going to choruses, going to bridges, instrumental sections, things like that. Um, especially in a progressive rock song where you have uh, all these sections uh, that comprise the entire piece, um, it can be interesting to see how the creative process goes with that. Now, with this one, it all started with uh, a B minor chord, and uh, it starts off um, with an open string, uh, which uh, lends itself somewhat to the, the 12 string. Having those kind of ringing uh, sounds um, is something that I find the 12 string to be uh, quite good at. And so it uh, starts with the uh, the F sharp, the B, and an open B note on the 12 string. The B goes up to a C sharp, and then up to a D, and then back down to a C sharp, so that the whole thing sounds like this. stationary and then we have the open B and then we have the B and the F sharp but with the C sharp and then we have the B and the F sharp but with the D and lastly the same thing with a C sharp and then while I was doing this trying to find ways to add interest I noticed that uh, this could fit in with uh, the earlier video where I had talked about contrary motion. And uh, this too could, uh, could fit into that theme. How? Well, basically when you've got the open B, then that can be used with um, the, the natural, the B minor that occurs on the first bar. But when you go to the C sharp, then that could be the third of an A chord. And then the D could be the fifth of a G. And then going back to the C sharp, uh, then that could be the fifth of an F sharp. So while this is going on, is it helps to add a bit of depth to the theme that's already there. If I were just to play that uh, initial theme with the strings ringing out and such and leave it just at that, it wouldn't be very interesting if it kept going on and on and on without further embellishment. So what this descending bass line does is it helps it to push into sort of contrary directions which gives it a bit of depth a bit of tension to make things a bit more interesting so that's the very beginnings of this song uh, we'll see how it develops and uh, once there are some more ideas there will be another entry in the songwriting diary and we'll see how it goes and if you have any questions uh, feel free to contact us at info at ledbytheshepherd.com or feel free to also leave a comment. Thank you.